There's this pressure that social media has created to make you feel like unless you are a millionaire at 21, you are failing at your life. Welcome back to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution also make sure that you turn on my post notifications so you know every single time I post also guys you know if you really want to show love to my channel guys I like if you want me to be within my bag please don't skip the ads just let them play through and continue watching after the ads because actually I get paid when you watch the full ads but if you skip it kind of messes up with my bag you know what I'm saying baby baby you know the vibes I'm just a young black queen trying to make it out here in the streets you know what I'm saying like it's so you know what? but anyway just you know just yeah. <laughs> watch the ads thanks <laughs> so in today's video I'm going to be briefly discussing some of the struggles that we face as people who are in our early 20s actually I would say honestly anytime after high school to pretty much the whole entire of your 20s and so let me not say your early 20s but just your 20s and you know post high school era so one thing about your 20s bro it is a confusing confusing ass time bro like the range of which you can find yourself in the spaces and your friends in your 20s is literally just it's flipping crazy literally in one friendship group there's a mom there's a wife there's someone who can't go out past 10 p.m and there's someone who literally has like their own career and business etc and that time we all just started off together you know it was definitely a confusing stage to navigate and one of the things that is confusing about it is when you enter into the quote unquote adult world first of all at which point guys do we enter like do we enter at 21 is that the is that the entrance the line up to there then now we're adults like i feel like there's no real moment you know where it's like okay now you're an adult you know suddenly after high school anytime between then and later people just start saying this thing saying that you're an adult and sometimes you find yourself having to navigate in adult spaces without the proper training you know as kids we're taught that you don't argue with older people older people are always right now when you are thrown into this world of adulthood especially in the early stages and and for me it was literally like straight out of high school learning that I am able to have a proper conversation with older people where we can actually debate, we can argue. You're not always right and your ideas do not trump mine. I do have a voice and it does matter and I'm not being disrespectful. I am allowed to speak and my opinion is valuable. Making that transition, I don't know if you guys understand just how difficult it can be. Someone shared with me that there was an airline in, I think in your guys, please don't quote me. There's an airline in an Asian country where the people were actually in a, in a, in a plane crash because the person who was working under the pilot, I don't know if co-pilot, but it was a younger man and the pilot was a, a, an older man. And so this co-pilot, I think I have the story right, literally don't quote me, but you'll get the message behind it. So this co-pilot had noticed that, okay, there's a mountain in the area that we're supposed to be going to. However, there's actually a term for this. I'm going to insert the term here because I don't remember. I think it's called mitigated something. Um, but because this man is older and that's the culture they were raised in, he could not go against what the pilot had already decided because he's older and he knows better and it's against the culture. And because this co-pilot kept quiet, the pilot realized when it was too late and they actually got into a crash and they died. The point I'm trying to make is this thing of feeling like I have no right to speak and someone is older therefore they're always right and they have a voice over mine is a real struggle that people actually have to mentally exercise to get out of and I've experienced the same thing here in America where literally I'm on boards and rooms where I'm dealing with people who are literally 60 years old and my voice matters just as much as them and I need to voice it and argue and state my point and also I'm gonna call you by your name and I'm allowed to call you 
by your name and also understanding that the world does not function the same way as your home i know that not everybody goes through that struggle but again it is a reality for some people another thing about entering adult spaces is the reality of sometimes finding yourself without the right clothing without the professional everybody seems to have professional clothing when they're big people right but like at which point do we make that transition where i stop buying young people clothes and now i must you know wear what big people wear genuine chat like is there like a, a a shopping date that is set for like when you turn 21 10 days after you go shopping to buy big people clothing and again clothing is another thing because when you wear clothing that is mature people are so against this rich anti aesthetic saying that it's aging the youth but it's like at which point is it appropriate for me to dress more shall i say quote unquote modestly or more professional you know because when you dress more professional or older or let me say more mature more modest you have people telling you it's aging you you look old you look like a granny but then at the same time like it's like what am i supposed to wear when am i supposed to wear it the next point i want to get into is feeling like you are behind that you don't have anything together that everyone seems to know what they're doing and you don't that is i think this is one of the hardest hardest struggles that we have as people who are in our 20s or you know fresh out of high school is even from high school there's a pressure for you to have it figured out you have to pick your subjects based on the career that you are supposed to go do in uni the reality is sometimes you're just there like bro i don't know what i'm supposed to do in future like i don't know you know so that pressure starts in high school to pick your subjects and then pick what you want to study in uni and and it's pressure because you either have scholarships or loans or your parents are paying it's pressure because now you're making your parents or your scholarship or your loan is paying for you to do this thing and then halfway you realize i don't even want to do this is there even money for me to change do i even have the option to change you know what i mean um but worrying about the future is a crippling 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 thing that we face and social media really perpetuates this uh, problem there's this pressure that social media has created to make you feel like unless you are a millionaire at 21 you are failing at your life social media has perpetuated this belief that accomplishing things after 30 makes them any less valuable is your house less valuable because you got it when you were 30 versus when you were 20 something no and that's the thing guys is there's this pressure where we feel like we have to have everything figured out nobody has everything figured out and people don't want to talk about the realities of how hard it is to find a job in the first place how hard it is to even find your path in life and it just adds to this pressure of you feeling like what am i even doing with my life we have students students who are in school feeling like they're wasting their lives like it's hard but do you understand that being a student is what you're meant to be doing at that point not everyone has to have five jobs and you know own a business by the time they're 22 you being a student every single day and working on your academics that is you doing something with your life that is you being on the right path but social media puts a pressure that everything is about money essentially there's no time pressure for figuring things out and having your life together you are going to find out more about yourself as you go you're going to change you're going to figure things out as you go you don't have to have it figured out right now and let's but not forget to talk about the parents who are putting pressure comparing you to your cousin who has two cars and your other cousin who's married you know what i'm saying like there's just so much pressure from all rounds from yourself from parents from the church from communities from instagram and it's like when can we breathe when are when are we ever told that hey you do a good job you're on the right path you are enough and also this thing of expecting everyone to be an entrepreneur guys let's be realistic first of all not everyone is going to be rich not everyone is going to be a millionaire not everyone is going to own a house and that is perfectly fine it is okay to have a nine to five people are making it seem like if you have a nine to five you're nothing and you're no one it is okay to have a nine to five it's okay to have a nine to five for the rest of your life because guys not everyone is an entrepreneur not everyone can do it not everyone has it in them you know the same way not everyone can do math there are some people where honestly and truly you can get a tutor you can you can do everything in your power but math ne? you and math you can like math but math won't like you back and that's fine not everyone can be a doctor and engineer and all these um uh, career paths that they want to force on us and say that is the acceptable path 
it is okay to follow a different path. The next point I want to talk about is finances, developing a relationship with money. You get to a point where now you're in uni, maybe you get like a pocket money, depends on whatever your financial situation is, you're earning money and now you have to develop your own relationship with money. Some of you guys, you grew up in a home where your family is always in debt and so now you've developed that same habit, you know, and it's like you have to develop your own personal relationship with money. You have to understand money. You have to develop a positive relationship with money learning how to save learning how to budget learning how to learning how to live within your means is so important because really really some people are really out there going broke trying to look rich learning to say if you don't have you don't have let's be honest guys some of you are a little too comfortable borrowing money every time you go out we already know you're the broke friend someone has to cover your food pay for your transport and you are comfortable when you tell people i'm broke you even expect for them to offer and say oh it's fine i'll cover your food some of you are a little too comfortable always 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 borrowing money because you have not developed your own relationship with money because for you being broke is the standard ah hey also learning that i don't have money for this just because you have the money doesn't mean you can afford it i hope you guys heard me at the back just because you have the money to buy something doesn't mean you can afford to buy it actually yes let's jump into dating as we talk about finances because again this goes back to social media social media is teaching everybody that if you want to be in a relationship you have to be rich what's this thing of some woman expecting men to be literally their fathers you're expecting your boyfriend to literally behave like your father he must pay your school fees he must pay for your lunch every day he must pay 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 bro are you a girlfriend or are you a prostitute and i oh what kind of relationship are you seeking is it for love and romance or is it transactional, you know? And hey, 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 hello, hear me out. Yeah, I'm not saying date broke niggas, okay? I don't support dating broke niggas either. And you know, again, the whole thing of like, what is a broke nigga? That's a whole conversation in itself. I'm not saying date broke niggas. I'm not saying don't date broke niggas. Hey guys, I'm just saying develop your own financial relationships and date accordingly. But anyway, um, there's this whole perception that if you want to date, you have to be a millionaire first. You have to have a house and a car. And you know, again, these things depend from person to person. But there's also this insecurity, you know, of feeling like as a man, if I even want a girlfriend, I literally have to be like rich. Otherwise my hun is gonna like break up with me or there's pressure to like, guys, can we be realistic? Do you know how expensive a vacation is? Do you understand that not everyone is able to go on vacation, vacation, etc, etc? You know, again, social media is putting all these pressures, you know, where people are buying girlfriends, cars and vacations and etc, etc, that it puts pressure on you as the person who doesn't have, makes you feel like you're lesser, that you're not worthy. This is not a realistic standard for everyone. It is possible and there are many who are living this way, but it's not possible for everyone and we do not all have to fit into the same mold. Anyway, this video is getting kind of long, so I actually decided I'm going to make this a part one and part two video. In part two, I'm gonna talk about more of the struggles with regards to being young and dating and just more struggles that we face as people who are in our 20s and post high school period. But I really do hope you enjoyed this conversation i really want to engage with you guys on this because i really want to hear more of your thoughts and your experiences so please comment down below let's keep the conversation going and again in the next video i'm really going to end it off by giving like a final just message to sum all this stuff up but right now this video is looking kind of long and it's not cute baby baby that's it for today guys i hope you like this video don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and i will be back with more videos peace and love guys